Work Design Now is really about looking at recently completed spaces, um, great workplaces, and trying to better understand some of the issues that are shaping the workplace today. We changed the paradigm of the office and we really created a new ecosystem that says, hey, you, you don't have an office or a cube, you have an entire building as your yeah. workspace. You're shifting sort of a, a persuasion from this is how a generations behaved to all of a sudden you've now got to do it. Private offices for some of our uh, upper management, you'll find them empty probably half the time. You know, I want something collaborative. I want something where people can just connect immediately. In every uh, industry, this pent-up desire to create in their new projects a sense of experience for the employees. But it's more important than ever now. You have different places to go to. You can recharge. That's where the amenities come into play. There's a fitness center, there's a rooftop. You just want to go up there and just take a take, get away from it all. People have different activities they do in the day. Some are more private, some are more collaborative. All of our clients are looking for a way to break free from that allocation of space based on entitlement and job title uh, toward one where it's all about allocation of space based on functional need. I would say, you know, you've got to force encounters. Uh, I think that's the, the significance of the success of our space. You can hire the best people in the world, but you're only going to amplify their abilities when you get them with other best people. In the team space, people are talking, they're paying attention more, they're sharing, they're collaborating, they're covering. It's, it is absolutely having an impact on how we service our lawyers, which in turn impacts how we service our clients. How do you uh, design a space so that it's versatile enough and flexible enough to sort of respond to unforeseen changes in the future? And how can we improve our designs to match the technology that's moving us faster, work patterns are different, you know, how can we match the settings? to a newer way of working. So, you know, we're not designing for a future, we're designing for any future. Some things are not perfect today, but they're not perfect by design. Because what our hope was, was that they'll be perfect in year five, or they'll be perfect in year seven. What we're seeing is the emergence, I think, of a, a new, flexible, in terms of the physical spaces, where people choose to work in a variety of activity settings based on the nature of the task at hand.